There is back to school shopping, all things new, and then there's the hand-me-downs. I grew up with both and both really do have their place, but when it comes to baby stuff, and let me move out of the way so you can see all of it, the baby stuff that's secondhand, well, the cost savings don't outweigh the dangers. Let's start with that car seat. Buying used car seats is not a good idea because you won't reliably know a lot about the seat. You won't know the seat's crash history. Crash history is the biggie, but there are other things that you should check. Car seats have expiration dates, and you can find that on the label. But if there isn't a label, you're not going to know the expiration or the number to check to make that the car seat hasn't been recalled. While it's illegal to sell recalled products, including on the secondhand market, people might not be aware of the law or may not even realize that the product they're selling has been recalled. Infant sleepers are often on the recall list, so you have to look up the exact item number to check. And cribs with drop-down sides have been linked to dozens of infant deaths, and they were banned in 2011. But even secondhand newer cribs can pose a danger. Sometimes a used crib may be passed on to you disassembled. You won't know if it's missing any hardware unless you have the assembly instructions. And anytime you purchase a used item for your child or get one from a friend or a family member, you need to check recalls.gov. With so much information out there all the time, it is easy to miss a recall. I have this resource for you in the two wants to know section.